Hey guys, it's Ryan Lipsy. And I'm Haley Collier, and we're with Tycor Title. And we're today we're covering the Mellow Ruse versus Special Assessment Liens, and what they cover, what they finance, when they drop off, if they're in perpetuity. Yeah. So where do we start with all that, Haley? Yeah, so they're a little different. We'll give you the short, quick, and skinny. The first thing we want to talk about is, you know, special assessments. Those are kind of bonds that were financed to improve things like streetlights, sidewalks, things in the area, sewers, streets, sewers, infrastructure. In, yeah, so infrastructure. So special assessments are to refinance or to pay off, you know, those construction type done for the benefits of yeah, the I mean, all the roads they had to build to get to the community, mm -hmm. you know, sewers to yeah. house that stuff. Exactly. So those are the special assessments that are on the property. And it's interesting because those, the way that they're kind of assessed into the property are how each household or each APN benefits from the work that was done. Oh, wow. So, so it's a pro rata share kind yeah, of? Yeah, exactly. So it's for the benefits of how it was used. So that's a little different versus Melarus. So Melarus, I understand, is more for like community facilities, schools, mm -hmm. theaters, parks, things like that? Yeah, so Melarus are something that's assessed into your property taxes, but it's more for the community's event. So, you know, schools, libraries, parks, fire departments, school districts have a lot of Melarus stuff. And the interesting with those is some expire, some are only, you know, 20 to 25 years, and then there's some that go in perpetuity that are entire lifelong with the property. So the bond never expires. So exactly, if it's with like the fire department. Well, that makes like sense because there's certain community facilities and certain infrastructure aspects that need to live on forever. So they need mm -hmm. to be supported in perpetuity. Right. Um, now, one of the curious things for me, I've been doing title 21 years and I didn't know that they were liens that were recorded on title that eventually get paid off, right? Yeah. So in some cases you actually see it as a lien on there, but in other cases it's really built into the property taxes as well, especially Belarus. We see that in there a lot. So that is an interesting thing that people don't really notice. Sometimes there is a lien that on the property that needs to be paid off prior to selling. Yeah, and so Melarus and special assessments, we want to take some of the mystery out. A lot of our buyers and sellers in real estate see it as just a line item on the HUD. Why do I have to pay this? It's actually went to support the community efforts, the parks, the skate parks, the fire department, the sewer, the streets, all of that right. stuff. It has a real meaning and an impact on the community. And a lot of that reasoning is probably why your buyers or sellers or buyers are moving into that area is because of the community. So it's important yeah. to know that those are the taxes, the reason why they're paying is to create that beautiful community. So let us know when you have a question, how much is the Mellow Ruse, how much is special assessment, we can get you that information, and if there's an expiration date, we can help you find that. I'm Ryan, she's Haley, we appreciate you so much at Tycor Title. See you next time. Thanks guys.